And let's say Buffy's 16. What? Hey, I was right. What's up, Jabroni? Steven here, and welcome back to yet another reaction. Hopefully, you're ready and excited for Buffy the Vampire Slayer episode number seven of season one called Angel. Now, this episode is all about Angel. I'm assuming, I'm assuming we're going to get to know who Angel is. Uh, the thumbnail showed Angel kissing Buffy. So that's something that got spoiled and is going to happen. So yay about that. Thanks for the spoiler, uh, Hulu. Uh, so as always, if you like what I do here, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Head over to Patreon if you want the next episode early. At this point, I should have several episodes already up over there, man. I'm thinking like two, three, four. A lot of episodes probably already up there. Um, if you want the full reaction, I recommend heading over there as well. I have um, a couple tiers for full reactions of Buffy. If you want to watch this episode, I have a tier where you can watch this episode of Buffy the day that it comes out. Um, also, on YouTube, you're seeing a TV screen here, a little TV screen with a filter over it and a bunch of stuff. Uh, over on Patreon, you don't get that. But since uh, YouTube is a pain in the ass and they do a bunch of crap and they don't really give um, creators or anything any leeway when it's in terms of uh, the copyright system, even when it's fair use hey man this is what i have to do so i have to put this here if you don't want this all i can do is send you over to patreon if you don't want to support me on patreon that's okay just understand that this is the only way i could do it and avoid the video getting blocked or claimed or anything and i don't even mind if it gets claimed it's when it gets blocked or strikes those are the things i hate so strikes i mean i'll send you to get the channel deleted blocks this makes me have to re-upload the video in a different format so this is something i'm trying let's see how it works um but yeah, we're hopping into this episode, and uh, it's early in the morning, I got my coffee, I'm hoping for a good episode, a better episode, this episode's called Angel, the fact that the dude got a spinoff show, I'm hoping that this is a good episode, and we get to know more about him, my theory was he's a slayer, but uh, somebody pointed out that the song at the beginning says she is a slayer, and it says that she is born or something, so... The fact that it says she several times in the intro means that the Slayers can only be women. So my theory on Angel's wrong. So I don't know what Angel is now. I don't know. I'm not sure what he is. He just randomly shows up. He randomly shows up. I don't know what Angel is. I don't know. Maybe he's like the son of the vampire or something. I have no idea who he is. Uh, but yeah, let's get into this episode and find out. What the fuck? Why does that dude has the deepest voice? That, that was a voiceover, right? I will send the three. When he is around, it's like the lights dim everywhere else. You know, it's like that was some guys. Oh no. Let's hope this show doesn't turn into goddamn Twilight. Because that would be god awful. What kind of dance is this? He's like, you're Jesus. <laughs> Xander's the best. Look at Xander go. Look at Xander. Oh. So God, if Angel turns out to be a vampire, or uh, um, a werewolf, that would be crazy. Actually, he could be a vampire too. I was thinking more like he's a werewolf and um, Twilight, you know, that whole dynamic, which I hope to God is not the case. Um, but he might actually turn into a, um, he might be a vampire. I never thought about it. I didn't think about that. Ooh, kicked in the nuts. Okay, okay. Ooh, what's up, son? Oh, damn. They playing rough. Them man's are wearing armor. That's actually really smart. Cause when why does not interview? They should all wear they should all wear armor. Good dogs? Holy shit. Maybe he's not. Oh, good move, Buffy. Alright, Angel, let's see how cool you are. Oh shh. Be crazy Angel dies here. <laughs> Why would going home protect them? They could, can't they just get inside? A vampire can't come in unless it's a oh yeah, I forgot about that rule. Wait, was he just invited in? Oh yeah, wait, he was invited in. She said, come on. Oh, shirtless scene. What's that? Oh no, mommy, mommy dearest is gonna come home and you're gonna have a shirtless man. It was a slayer. It was. Oh, it was. Oh, he must have got bent when he was younger. It was a long while ago. 
I bet he. I bet the Dracula guy bit him. Tension is high here. Spent the night in your room in your bed. Not in my bed, by my bed. That is so romantic. Did you, uh, I mean, did he, uh, perfect gentleman? Buffy, come on, wake up and smell the seduction. It's the oldest trick in the book. What? Saving my life? Getting slashed in the ribs? Duh. I mean, guys <laughs> would do anything to impress a girl. I, I want an entire gallon of Gatorade without taking a breath. Hey. Of course, sometimes a little is enough. Oh, never mind. What the hell? Wow. So they straight up killed her. Okay, killed them. Ooh, now the three are just oh, gone. Check out these babies. Angel? Hey. What the fuck? That's. Dude, you were here all day? Brought you some dinner. So oh, little bro. plateless, sorry. Why was he here all day? Damn. Buffy's in high school, right? Buffy's 16? I don't know. Are we supposed to be into this? This seems very wrong. Let's say Buffy's 16. What? Hey, I was right. I know you have feelings for this guy, but it's not like you're in love with him, right? You're in love with a vampire? What, are you out of your mind? <laughs> what? So what, when he was kissing Buffy, he was like tasting Buffy and he got like... A friend. So Angel was cursed? What's that about? But he wasn't regularly bitten. But then again, these, his parents were killed. I'm guessing his parents were murdered by vampires. And then he was bitten by a vampire, my assumption. But if there's a curse that was put on him. Ooh. That's not how Angel... I think Angel would let her kill him. What's up with this kid's face? What was he making that face for? Holy hell, drinking coffee at night? Sounds like somebody I know. Me. But if I drink coffee at night, I'm up to like 3 or 4 in the morning. So who's home? Is it Darla? No, I bet it's Angel. Upstairs. Or it's Xander trying to hide in the closet. Those scenes are done really well. Darla's going to kill them all? How would she do that? Wait, they're gonna turn the mom? That'd be a crazy big. twist if the mom turns into a vampire. Something big. And break the door down. Bam. Wow. I just had a little. There's plenty more. Oh no, I thought Buffy's gonna come home and see this. And Buffy's gonna think that Angel killed. Smart plan. Really smart plan. Where the fuck were you guys? Just randomly strolling through the neighborhood? Aww. Well, plus you're single, Giles is single, I mean... That's interesting, the mom has, the mom has been... What happens? She's gonna clearly turn. What, kill him? You're hurting me. I like it. That's good too. Look, she's, she's, she's a freak, man. Yeah, I'm still confused. Like, she said, I invited him in after I knew who he was. I don't think she did. I, unless I missed something, I don't remember that being the case. Y'all was going to find out that it was Darla. Darla came to your house tonight. She, she's the friend that you mentioned earlier. Is he actually fight? He's actually fighting her. I don't get it. I invited you into my home and then you attacked my family. Why not? I killed mine. Oh, shit. Killed their friends. Okay. I mean, their friends' children. For a hundred years, I offered an ugly death to everyone I met. 
spit on a girl about your age. Beautiful. Dumb supposed. <laughs> I'm a favorite among her clan. Clan? So am I. When you become a vampire, the demon takes your body, but it doesn't get your soul. That's gone. No conscience, no remorse. It's just mm. live. So they, oh shit, it gave him the soul so he can care. That's crazy. I like how he was saying he started off with like kill me kill me do it and then it turned into him explaining everything wow that's really cool the gypsies gave him back his soul as punishment for him killing a girl um guns is a weird <laughs> choice but okay that's the one negative i've had so far about this entire episode why she got guns for her so weird i mean i guess it's kind of smart though if you think about it what a weird, weird, weird choice for the guns. I don't like it. <laughs> what a weird choice. I get it, but like, I don't know. I feel like it could have been executed better. Oh, she was ugly. Ooh. Oh, Angel killed Darla. Holy fuck. That's crazy. Oh, he like legit killed Darla. I mean, you're... Then our series just became a hell of a lot more interesting. Wonder what season you get that in. Oh, but Daddy Dearest is upset. Look this way. Isn't it weird for for Willow? She's clearly the third wheel, and she knows that the guy she's in love with is in love with like essentially her best friend. It's like a weird situation there. So why can't why 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 did the mom not turn into a vampire? I thought when you once you got bit, you got turned. Why is that not like a thing? Oh no, no, Xander, don't look, Xander, don't look. Xander, Willow's cute though, man. Come on now. And she's not buffy or not. Really cute, really smart, really nice, really sweet. And you know, she doesn't seem like she'll put you in harm's way. I mean, I don't the, the, this this love story is interesting. Doesn't really feel too earned. I mean, maybe it does. I don't know. They were really put in these interesting situations, which would have let any human probably lead to what's happening. Oh, wow. That's fucking cool. He, he was loving kissing her so much that it burned the cross into his chest. All right. See? I knew that like we could have a couple duds in there, but I knew we were gonna come back with a great, great, a really good episode. And I'm gonna be honest, best episode of the show so far. This one gets from me a solid eight, I'm giving it an eight, mostly because I can't think of anything I disliked really that much. So yeah, um, so what's that? Um, so first off, a lot of questions, a lot of interesting questions, a lot of interesting. Um, things that I I came across from that episode. The main one is so I love I loved like how I was like I was guessing about what Angel was. Part of me thought he might have been a werewolf. Um, part of me thought he might have been a Slayer previously into this episode, and then I accidentally said vampire instead of werewolf, and it sparked in my brain. Oh wait, he could be a vampire. Turns out he was a vampire. Um, and the whole getting invited in that whole situation, and what I was saying before about like. I don't know how much of the how much of the romance was earned. But then I have to remember, like, her girl is like the whole it's like a like the, a mysterious, good looking man just randomly showing up. Like, you know what I mean? Like that could possibly be a turn on in this time period. Because that's kinda like, you know, he shows up, he saves you, he talks to you, he gives you his jacket, he comes off like a so sweetheart. He does all that stuff for you. Then you're put in a situation where you're in the bedroom. He's not, like, he has no shirt on. You know what I mean? All this stuff that could lead to a romance, like a rarely romance. The love. I don't like when they throw the love thing around. Like, I don't love that because like he's in love with a vampire. Okay. He's in love with her. Like, can't be in love unless it's like, like maybe you can, but they only like, they barely talked. Literally the episode started with them saying that she's barely talked to him. And all of a sudden, ooh, in love. Eh, I don't love that jump. But again, we can get around that. I love the whole situation with him. Like, Angel, that story is fucked. He 
he was so Darla says she turned him right. So Darla turned him, I believe. He was he got turned into a vampire. Now this story can go in one of two ways because it could have been that he was lying to Buffy about him killing his parents and the friends, like he was lying to like make Buffy kill him, or he was telling the truth and that's actually what happened. Like he got turned into a vampire and then murdered his entire family, which is fucked, right? He did that for 150 years or so. Then he killed a gypsy. And then her family cursed him by giving him back his soul. So they've explained about when a vampire gets turned into a vampire, his soul is gone. He's a demon. He feels no remorse, no anything, right? Really interesting. But then when you give him back his soul, he sees. He can feel everything. He can see everything. He has remorse for everything. That's fucked up, dude. That's like insanely fucked up of a, of a situation. And he's, he hasn't killed for 80 something years because he feels bad. He feels that remorse of murder and killing and everything. That's a really interesting story to take that in. I would not, I was not expecting that to be the case. Um, he killed Darla, which I knew Darla was going to die. I mean, she just, whenever these kind of shows introduce a character like that, um, and they're giving her a lot of screen time. You're like, oh, yeah, she's going to die soon. Uh, a show that did that a lot was like The Walking Dead um, that does that now. Or not now, but when I was watching The Walking Dead, which I stopped like after like season four, was they would like give a character an entire arc or an entire episode to them. Like, oh, yeah, they're going to die by the end of this one. And then they would die. Um, but yeah, like I really enjoyed all that. I really, The Buffy dynamic was really good with Angel. Like they have really good chemistry. Like I believe there's sexual tension. Even though I'm still confused because let's say Angel wasn't whatever old he was, he would still be like a 20 something year old, right? And Buffy's clearly 16, right? Or 17 maybe. So that's really creepy. <laughs> even so it's even though it's not like, you know, the, the years of 240. It's still creepy. It's a grown ass man making out with like a 16, 17 year old girl. Still creepy. Um let's see what else we have here. I was saying that Giles needs to find somebody to actually train Buffy because he can't do it. He's not capable enough. Um, the Xander situation, Xander being jealous of Angel, like, I don't know. That's an interesting dynamic because I'm not like I'm I'm sure people have people have like when people that watch the show are like, Oh, I want her to end up with Angel. No, I want her to end up with Xander. I actually don't know who I want her to end up with. I'm going for Xander because I like Xander, but I don't want I want Xander to end up with Willow. So I'm going for that. And Willow, that whole dynamic for her has got to be fucked up, too. Like, oh, I've been in love with Xander since I've met him. New girl shows up. She's my best friend. And now she's Xander's in love with her. That's got to be a whole interesting dynamic there. Uh, then the, another question I had is about the mom, right? The mom got bit. Are the rules different in this world? In this world, Like, the mom was bit here. Where is it? The mom was bit in the neck. So if the mom was bit in the neck, wouldn't that mean she's going to turn into a vampire? Isn't that how that works? Am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's not how the rules work. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was my thoughts on this episode. As always, if you like what I do, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Head over to Patreon if you want the full reaction, if you want the next episode early. Hell, we've introduced a new voting system where you can vote on what you, what you give the episode out of 10. And you kind of vote there, and we kind of have discussions in the comments of why you thought that that is what the score was. I'm going to give this episode an eight. So I'm going to definitely be rating it an eight when I go on there and rate it myself. But hopefully you enjoyed this and I'm going to get out of here and I'll talk to you guys later.